Growing to Wealth, the story of genetically improved crops. Our African elders say it takes a whole village to raise a child. And yes, it took efforts from stakeholders across the academic and political strata to fulfill the mandate given by the Nigerian president and commander-in-chief. I wish the farmers would go and stay in the lab so that we can produce what we need sufficient so that uh, we don't have to import. In any case, we don't have any money to import food, so we must produce what we are going to eat. The National Biotechnology Development Agency, NABDA, and the Open Forum on Agricultural Biotechnology, OFAB in Africa, Nigeria chapter, rose to the occasion with the Minister of Science and Technology giving leadership to science and technological innovation together with his counterparts, the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, providing the necessary support for agricultural revolution. Nigerian farmers say that the adoption of biotechnology in farming has the capacity to pull the majority of them out of poverty following the advantages attached to genetically modified improved GM crops. we have started our best in the cowpea we have had no problem with uh, insect with uh, uh, the the thing is thriving very well the you can see how good it is it's a very small plantation maybe like uh, 0.27 hectares and uh, the yield we expect is very high it's uh, better than what we will get if we use the normal uh, seeds thankfully nigeria currently has approved the commercialization of two gm crops the port borer resistance pbr cowpea and bt cotton and since the approval of these crops for planting, Nigerian farmers have expressed optimism that these crops would be the game changer across the agricultural value chain. When I hear Sunanta Sanpi 20, Sanokuma, Bombanchin to the Sore Iri Shini, Susa, what the Akep and Nawaki so say, by a Mataroni, Kamaria Deke or Saron Waki. The Lily of Washini and Sarah Fata Yeda Zata Taurariwa Itawanchan Susa. To the Lily of Ingan Chintama Yasa Anna Bukata za I Peshi so Bukoi, my Mokon Peshi so Shida Zua Takos to a quay Ingan Chiso say. Bisaga Yede Kamata Tanuna, Kwana Saba Inzua Saba in the Beria Kamata Tanuna. Do Yeda Kugani Targata Fara. Why is that Katana the Kwana are by in that area? Kawai. To turn the Tara the Kwana are by in that area far away. Muna Sarai, can she was walk on us by in the Zuasa by in the beer that are no longer a far reaching of an inter. I've been the government to come out to Ishini. Turn the Irin now by the hour. It don't answer me to our yard at Takamaya the Muma Akakiram and a more summon Uma, Suma, I am find the Susu no meter. Domi a father died. It then Manu, my dear, some father da, so he, so no me, I'm not sure that he had to come Kasaki. It's very, very uh, encouraging and it will definitely take people out of poverty. This product, what 
I am recommending to everybody to try and see what they can do because it has the potential to improve productivity and our drive towards zero hunger can be promoted using this type of product and so many other ones we are expecting NAPDA and our agricultural institutes to come up with. Prior studies have shown that television and movie portrayals of science and agriculture can influence attitudes and opinions towards the featured topic or issue. The prevalence of the social media in modern society emphasizes the need to better understand the possible impact and representation of agricultural biotechnology in the media and its attendant impact on audience members' attitudes. The purpose of this documentary is to tell the vivid story of a startling biotechnological breakthrough in BT Cowpea development and its successful efforts at growing to wealth. With a massive landmass of well over 100 hectares in the Federal Capital Territory, the National Biotechnology Development Agency planted the BT cowpea side by side the conventional cowpea variety under the close supervision of the National Biosafety Management Agency, NBMA. And the result simply clear for all to see. Wow! Woo! Hmm. This is marvelous. The farm is looking fine. Look at the difference. Wow. Although called cowpea, it is actually seen as a nutrition powerhouse known across Africa as beans. Beans or cowpea, also known as black-eyed pea, is grown mainly for its edible peas. But what many people don't know is that the new cowpea variety, Sam P20T, is now the complete game changer. The biotechnology research program of the Institute has successfully uh, developed a genetically modified cowpea variety for the first time in the world that is resistant to a recalcitrant insect called maruka or a pot boring insect. In efforts to take Nigeria to the next level, the BT cowpea was developed by scientists at the Institute for Agricultural Research, IAR. Maldubelo University Zaria, in collaboration with several partners, including the National Biotechnology Development Agency, NAFTA, the National Agricultural Seeds Council, NESC, National Biosafety Management Agency, NDNA, the National Center for Genetic Resources and Biotechnology, NAGRA, Nigeria Agricultural Quarantine Service, NEQS, and this collaboration was done under the support and coordination of the African Agricultural Technology Foundation, AATF, Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, CSIR, Puerto Rico, Australia, and the United States Aid USAID Program for Biosafety Systems, as well as the Plant Science Donald Danforth Center, Missouri. This new BT cowpea variety is early maturing with medium-large seeds, beautiful to behold and nutritious to the human body. So you can see the purple of the GM, or you can see the number of what? They are more in number. Compared to the local bean variety, you can also see that the, already, the BT has already matured. This is a uh, you know, Maruka resistant variety of copy, and this other side is the local copy normally planted by our farmers, and this was planted before 
that. I think almost one month difference. But you can see that this, the pots are not even forming yet. But come, look at, you know, the pots are yet to be, it's just flowering, more than two months, still flowering. And then when you come to this side, uh, you can see we planted this just about two months old now. It's, it's podded, it's flowered, it's podded. It is also resistant to Stringer and Electra, two notorious parasitic weeds. The decision by the Nigerian government to release the BT Kauki variety means that farmers will have access to the seeds that will help them significantly reduce the number of sprays that currently apply to their crop from seven to eight times to only two times per cropping season and as a result, realize better yield in quantity and quality. It will also contribute to addressing the national cowpea demand deficit of about 500,000 tons and also improve the national productivity average of 320 kg per hectare. The protein and other nutrients contained in some P20T variety is as good, if not better, than that of the other conventional varieties, meaning that the BT gene that was incorporated into the variety has no negative effect on the nutritional composition of both grain and fodder. The BT corn and BT cotton were released and were happily, were very adopted, were adopted on large scale by farmers. Then we turn around and say, why not use this technology which offer, which has the potential and can solve the problem on cowpea. Because cowpea is very important for us. It is our major protein source for millions and millions of people who cannot buy milk and or meat every day. I said, today we are beginning, you see, anything scientific, uh, when you introduce it to uh, the community, people will take it gradually. Uh, this is the first time that uh, we are trying to uh, introduce uh, this kind of crops. Uh, for example, in this country, we have adopted uh, the, the use of uh, BT cotton and BT cowpea. So these are the uh, ones that have been introduced and uh, we are ready to uh, go into the uh, introduction of uh, maize and uh, some other product which will uh, greatly enhance this uh, uh, economy and uh, improve upon the uh, farmers uh, uh, farmers involvement in the uh, use of uh, biotechnology. The Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria, ARCN, has the mandate to make improved technologies available and accessible to farmers to enhance their yields and income and result in improved livelihoods. One of such economically viable and environmental sustainable solution to the problem of the legume pod borer is the development of the BT cowpea variety which have inherent resistance. So the, one of the major things is that it will boost cow production, will improve nutrition, and most important, and very importantly also, it will increase people's income, food security and income. It is uh, improved against this uh, um, pest that is uh, uh, affecting the quality of the cow. And uh, when you look at it critically, this coffee is uh, part of our food in the country. So when we have this available, it means that uh, people will have uh, food at their disposal and uh, also it will increase uh, towards the GDP and uh, some other uh, aspect of the economy. We have known that this particular cowpea variety, which is a transgenic variety, has resistance to pot borer, which really helped to increase the yield and reduce the number of times you spray. So with that, we actually need this urgently in this country if we are to meet the food security need of our country. 
Certainly, the release of the BT Cowpea variety has marked a great and memorable future for Nigeria, Africa, and indeed, the world at large. This is a deliberate march towards food sufficiency and food security for Nigeria and all mankind. For the growth to wealth and yes to scientific evolution, BT Cowpea is certainly a major and strategic achievement. With this kind of work we did on Cowpea and similar work going on actually in Nigeria, I am convinced that Nigeria will be a leader in food production in sub-Saharan Africa. With safety in modern biotechnology, we can grow to wealth and ensure of food security, not just in Africa, but in the world at large. And uh, I can assure you that with the proactive effort of the federal government of Nigeria and Nigeria's commitment to this technology, particularly in the area of safety, Nigeria is going to be in the global map in ensuring that uh, food security is assured to all of us and the world at large. As President Muhammadu Buhari says, grow what you eat, eat what you grow. And this is what we are determined to do in NABDA as a DG, National Biotechnology Development Agency. I'm very much ready to support this idea. And this is what we are doing. And together, we can grow to wealth. Yes, we can grow to wealth. The time is now. The season is here. Join the crusade. Support agricultural biotechnology and enjoy a bountiful harvest of genetically modified crops, safe and yummy for human consumption. Grow to Wealth, the story of GM Crops, Nigeria, West Africa. Yes, we can. <laughs>